Welcome. This video is about using RouteAid from your InspectorAid account. Log in to the InspectorAid website with your username and password. Click on the Inspections tab. If not selected already, select the inspection status you want to view by using the status drop down. We will choose the open status. Click the search button. Select the inspections you want to route by marking their selection boxes. Alternately, you can select all the inspections in the view by clicking here. This inspector has 50 inspections assigned to them. We have selected the first 40 visible, as shown in the results per page. To route the inspections, click the Route button on the bottom of the screen. Simply click the Create New Route option to start a new route with these inspections. This is the Route Aid Route Creation screen. It will open in a new tab next to Inspector Aid. Let's take a moment to review the parts of this screen. These tabs on the left panel are the main route aid controls. If you hover your mouse over them from left to right, you can see that they are compact mode, unrouted items, routed items, directions, and settings. Compact mode just makes the left panel smaller to make more of the map visible. This is the compact view. This is the settings view. You can set the default start and end address for your routes here. You could use the address of your home or office, for instance. Addresses that could not be found show up in this tab, the unrouted items tab. This may mean the address is formatted poorly or that its exact location is unknown. The exact number of unknown addresses in this tab is shown by the number in red. If you know where this address location should be, you can click this icon, then drag the pin shown on the map to the right location, to move the pin. Alternately, if you want to change the address format to see if it can be found with the adjusted address, click the edit icon to do so. You can then change the address formatting, perhaps adjusting the spacing, or removing the apartment or suite number if required. Once you are done editing, click the Save button to save your changes. Now that our address is fixed, you need to ask the system to attempt to locate the updated address. This is done by clicking on the Ask Google to place this marker button. Once found, the address is moved from the Unrouted Items tab to the Routed Items tab. This is the Routed Items tab. The number of items in this tab is shown by the little red number on the tabs icon. This tab also shows the route list. It lists the addresses you put into Route Aid in their current order. The numbers correspond to both the pin number on the map and the current order or rank of the address in the list. If you have not added a default start and end address in the settings tab, then by default the first and last items in the route list are the route start and stop locations. To change this default, you can also select the address for the start, then use the send to top arrow to move it to the top of the list. Do the same with the send to bottom arrow for the stop address. Great! Now you are ready to optimize your route. The most convenient way to optimize the route is with the optimize button. This will automatically order the addresses in the list for shortest driving distance. You can also use these handles on the addresses to drag the address up and down the route list to manually reorder them anytime. Auto optimization and turn by turn driving directions generation takes only a few seconds. While generating, you will see the driving directions tab spinning. When done, you will see the blue path drawn between the pins on the map. You can zoom in on the map for more detail. You can view the driving directions results in this tab. You can print the directions from here if you like, but they'll also be available on the Inspector Aid app once we save the route. To save, click on the Route Items tab again. This is the name of the route. You can change the default name, the creation date, 
to later identify this route easier in Inspector Aid, if you wish. Click the Save button to save the new route. Your new route is complete. Now, click on the Inspector Aid tab in your browser to go back to Inspector Aid. Inspector Aid is right where we left it. To see your new route, click on the Routes tab. On Inspector Aid's Routes tab, you can see the routes you have created and saved. To change a route and open the route aid interface for this route again, click the edit button. You can also simply view the addresses in the route by clicking on the show button. Here you can see the list of addresses comprising this route in route order. You can download this list for your GPS by choosing your required GPS format from the list and clicking download. Clicking on the routes tab again brings us back here. Please note, you may only have up to three routes stored at a time. To remove old routes, use the delete button.